As regular viewers will know, I love myself a niche Star Wars character and talking to the person behind it or in it. I once drove to Wales, technically a different country, just to speak to the guy who played Jabba the Hutt's tail. Yeah, hey, I've done more to this than just playing a Jabba tail, you know. So when I heard that Mark Hamill voiced Jabba's former droid worker in Return of a Jedi, now working in the cantina, circuit of Mandalorian, my big, stupid, nerdy head almost exploded. Now this wasn't the moment where I realized I've got to interview Mark Hamill. That happened quite a long time ago. It's still a work in progress. He hasn't said no. The Mandalorian story broke and then the plot soon thickened over on Mark Hamill's Twitter account where all good stories come from. And it turns out that he's also voiced characters in all Star Wars movies apart from the prequels under the guise of Patrick Williams or William M. Patrick. Patrick and William are the names of his brothers, but what could the M stand for? Maurice? Megadeth? Midi-Chlorian? Milk? Mark? Some of these parts have been revealed, but others remain a mystery because, as is quite often the case with additional voices, the actors' names don't get attached to the character names in the credits. I'll come on to the mystery ones, but first, here's what we do know. This guy, in a total of six films. In The Rise of Skywalker, he gave voice life to friend of the Resistance, Bulio. Win the war! Until he became a severed, lifeless head. The Last Jedi cameo is also known, and it's the easiest to find, because actually, he was credited as Mark Hamill for it, voicing drunk alien Dobu Ske on Canto Bite. Hamill also suggests that he might have also provided the physicality of the whatever he is, but then he is also known for the odd prank here and there. Now, for the ones we don't officially know about, I've gone a little bit Nerdlock Holmes on this and thrown in a few guesses of my own based on some investigating and also some of the best theories I found online as well. IMO. Rogue One then. I like to think that he provided the bleeps and the blops to that R2-D2 cameo, but anyway. The easy guess would be a Stormtrooper. Another theory is that he provided the voice that you hear on the intercom at Yavin base, which I like. I like that one. Another theory is Borgullet. 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 Or however you pronounce it. Borgullet. 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 Not sure about this one, to be honest. I saw it in a random tweet, a rogue one. Although maybe it could fit Hamill's sometimes off the wall voice acting style. Maybe. Solo, a Star Wars story. Now, our old friend William M. Patrick does show up in the credits, but it hasn't been revealed who he played. I saw a theory that he might have voiced one of the Cloud Rider bandits, but I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the only one we hear is Emphis Nest, who was played by Erin Kellyman. So I'm going to be a coward and guess it was a stormtrooper of some sort, or maybe some bloke yelling during the Battle of Mimban. Solo, get up! Finally, The Force Awakens. Hamill said it himself on Twitter, I do have lines in episode seven. Now this one's a bit trickier because both of his cameo guises don't show up in the credits as far as I can see. However, in the additional voices section, there is a Patrick Coral. And this is interesting because if you look at his IMDb page, there's only one voice acting credit, which is The Force Awakens. He's also had a handful of production crew roles on other films, but not The Force Awakens. It's been confirmed by StarWars.com that Patrick Coral voiced the medic droid who says, we've got a heartbeat, in regards to Finn. We've got a heartbeat. But that doesn't really sound like Hamill to me, which doesn't necessarily mean that it wasn't Hamill, which basically means, I don't know. Well, wasn't this informative? To be honest, we can probably only speculate until we hear it straight from the Hamill's mouth. So let me know in the comments who you think he voiced in these films. And also I have to say as well, of course Mark Hamill has had a very successful voice acting career outside of Star Wars, but seeing as we won't see Luke Skywalker again in a Star Wars film, I'm sure of that, it is nice to see him all these years later branching out within the universe that typecast him so much to some extent in his physical acting career. So that's cool. And that's the end of the video. You can go now.